Oh, I'm back. Although this game doesn't have information on, doesn't have information on Twitch. So, in order to do it, I've had to use a game with the same name. Don't know what that is up there. I'll wait a few minutes just for people to arrive. Don't think it allows controllers, so. Let's get this out here. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. A little, little papa having a bath. Splish, splash, papa having a bath. Depending on how long this is. I might have to forego on Evil Within. I might have to do that tomorrow if there's a puppet being bathed, because that would be funny and cute. Friday's going to be a big day tomorrow. I'm hoping to stay up nice and late, hang out with everyone for a long time, because that would be cool. I've got to wait for Mel Vase to be back, because this is her game. Oh! Speak of the devil. Speak of the botanicaled monster, and here she is. I'll give it one more minute, then I shall start... Yeah, I've wondered about that, how that works exactly. <laughs> There's the tentacles. Okay. Well, I'm going to get this started. Let's take a look. Oh, did Count want to watch this as well? In that case, I shall wait for Count. Um, or even possibly send him a message. I can do that from here. Um, I'll put it on the Discord. Yeah, I think he's still lurking too. Count, buddy! Well, Malvaze, you said this was short, so if it is short, I might play it again. With them here. I'm not sure where a coyote is. Shall I get started, shall I? Should I get my horoscope done? Does it have controller support or is it only keyboard? I think it's only keyboard, okay. Now in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You will be asked a series of questions, you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say the answer that when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if that's hard to face. We all want a positive outcome. We don't always get what we want, however. Whatever you'll find here may be disturbing. The truths you uncover. Do you want the truth? If you're sure, then continue. The process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. Drum roll. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. Call it natural intuition. A sixth sense, if you will. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain working as a defense mechanism. 
While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realise it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, relax and enjoy the experience. We're about to begin with a series of questions and provided that you're willing to par you're a willing participant, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Most likely information you could regret learning. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. They tell you to relax, then that you're going to regret it. Ready, set, you told me to get some water first. Chill out, horned person. Let me put my water up here, actually. There we go. There's a run button, so I'm guessing it's not just your normal average horoscope. Are you afraid of the dark? No. Would you consider yourself to be a loner? Yes. Do you ever feel alone even when... Yes. Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll slow down. Even if if you knew the date of your best friend's death, would you tell them? This is the circumstances, like they said. That depends on the friend. Mm. Yes, I suppose I would. I'd want to let them know somehow. Even if I didn't tell them the date, I'd want to warn them somehow. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Yes. Are you comfortable in deep open water? Yes. If you could give up your friends to become rich and famous, would you? No. If you looked into a crystal ball and saw that the love of your life was going to hurt you badly, would you leave them? Would you consider yourself to be courageous? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a shallow person? Uh, at times, I think everyone uh, let's just say yes. At, at times, yes. Do you fear the unknown? Yes. Everyone does. Does answering a ring phone? <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. I hate it. If you found a suitcase full of money, would you keep it? If I could? Yes. Does the... Yes. Well, my, little, my little brother's called John, just so people know the context of this answer. So yeah, it would mean something, considering it's the name of my little brother. Would you consider yourself to be manic? No. I said no! Um, do you get bored easily? Um, no. Do you ever take dangerous, unnecessary risks? Um, no. Would you consider yourself to be a thrill seeker? I used to be when I was younger. Not anymore. So I say no, not anymore. When you die, would you like to be cremated? I couldn't give a shit what they do with my body. Actually, I do give a shit what they're going to do with my body because I've got a plan. My, my body's going places. Um, um, would you like to be cremated? No, because I don't want. I don't care what's done. So it's not. It's not that I dislike it. It's just I don't really give a shit. So no, I don't want to be cremated. Would you ever kill an animal under? Yes, if it was circumstances. Would you consider yourself to be romantic? Yes. Donating my skin in a particular museum. Are you a jealous person? Most of the time, no. But it does happen. So I'm going to say no. Because most of the time, I'm pretty ruled by... Pretty much ruled by reason, for the most part. Would you consider yourself an impact? Empathetic person. Most, yes, yes, more than no. I'm doing these kind of by percentages in my head. Do you like animals? <laughs> yeah, of course. Are you a virgin? No. Bow chicka bow bow. This is all very interesting. Is it really? Do you love your mother? Not really. Um, I would say yeah. Um, yeah, enjoy taking them. What's up, Beta? Is Halloween one of your favourite holidays? No, don't really give a shit about Halloween. Yeah, like, I, it's, it's about, for me, it's about being animals you can trust to be animals. They won't lie to you. People can lie, people can make guns. 
cats can purr and hunt little rodents. <laughs> and dogs are up for a party no matter what. You say, oh my god, you're a dog. And they'll be like, oh my god, I'm a dog. Humans don't do that. It doesn't mean I don't like humans. I fucking love humans. Humans are great. The good ones are amazing. But if if two people, if two strangers, <laughs> if two strangers stood outside my house and one of them was a man and one of them was a cat, I would invite the cat in first. Okay, do you believe in any higher power of any kind? Okay, so this one, I've got to state what I why my why I answer my answer. If they mean higher power by, like, a creature that is more evolved than us, then yes. If they mean God, no. Um, not that I think gods can't exist. I just, I don't put them on the same, I just think beings. Beings can exist that have bigger brains or are more ethereal than us. So I'll say yes, but I don't mean it in a generic way. If Satan were watching your every move and you knew it, would you feel uncomfortable? Well, it wouldn't make any fucking difference, would it, if he was watching everything? Do you partake in any form of drug activity? Not anymore, but I used to. Um, so I suppose no, because I don't anymore. Uh, yes, on the odd occasion. So I'm not I'm not reading the questions. Do you drink alcohol? Yes, on the odd occasion. Do you have any sexual fan fetishes or fantasies that you'd consider bizarre or uncommon? I don't know what that means anymore. Thanks to the internet, nothing is considered a fetish anymore. Um okay, so if if a sexual fantasy is anything other than missionary, <laughs> then I'd say yes. Um very interesting. Do you thrive under pressure? It's a certain amount of pressure. If you could end the world with a push of a button, no, of course I fucking wouldn't. Do you sometimes hope for the coming of a zombie apocalypse? Yes. Have you ever killed an animal? Yes, I have. If you had to resort to cannibalism to survive, would you would you be able to? Uh, it depends. If there's people around me that their survival depends on my survival, then yes. I just I just don't have a, a freezer big enough. To like put a whole human, maybe a leg or an arm or something. Do you like guns? Yeah, some guns are cool. Do you like knives or other bladed tools or weaponry? Yeah. Do you like blunt objects such as hammers or bats? Yeah. Do you believe in aliens? Well, this is, to me, this is the same question as the higher power one. Because to me, they would be a higher power if they can get to us. Um, yeah, why not? Theoretically, if you had the opportunity to go into space, on a yes. Sorry, I keep on rushing the reading. If you could leave Earth and go to space, never to return again, would you leave? No, because there's people that care about me and depend on me, so I I can't do that as much as I would love to. Do you know that over 20% of koala bears have chlamydia? No, I know a certain percentage, but I didn't know that it was 20. Okay, it is an interesting fact, those filthy, filthy koalas. Yeah, am I alone right now? Does this count? Does this count as me being alone? No, I'm not, yeah. So, do you get starstruck? He's, no, when they say Star Trek, they mean like people from TV being around. I can give a flying fuck. Have you ever said a prayer? Yes, when I was a kid. Do you believe in magic? Again, this is this is like the higher power question. If someone could tune into something with a piece of equipment that happened... What's that saying about things being um, basically magic? Like, if you go 500 years into the future, what they do seems normal, but to me it will, it will seem like magic. I'm going to say yes, but on my own terms. Do you believe no? Do you believe in demons? No, not really. If you knew you could summon a demon, would you do it? Well, no. Again, this depends on what what you consider a demon to be. I mean, is a demon just a creature that's locked in somewhere that's 
that it's been given the name demon. Because it depends what side of the fence you're sitting on, what's a demon, and what what isn't a demon. If you could... no. If you played other games released by ran, random studios, such as the Summoning the Twins, The Test. Or even Naked News. I recognise the name The Test. I don't know if I've played it, though. It's me. You're testing me, Malvez. I don't think I've played those games, although I recognise the name of The Test, but that could be anything. So generic. You really should. They're pretty epic. I'm not biased at all. I appreciate that kind of humour. Um... All right, I'm not the shameless yeah, and that the shameless plug is over. Um, I'll shamelessly plug my channel. If people are enjoying my channel, please give me a follow. I'm trying to hit a hundred, and that'd be amazing. And I'll be your best friend for the duration of seventeen point five minutes, and then it kind of goes up and down. Um, if you could travel back in time, would you? Yes. Do you like horror movies? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be evil? No. Would you consider anyone to be evil? Hmm, this is about whether people are inherently evil. No. Ah, I don't know, because I think people are broken. And of course, Malvase. I think people can be broken, I don't know if that... Fuck it. Hitler's evil. 1% of the population are sociopaths, which means that out of 100 people you've encountered in your life, you've met at least one sociopath. Chances are you speak to a few of them on a daily basis. Did you know that? Yes, I did. Do you think that you could potentially be a sociopath? Anyone could potentially be a sociopath. It's better to kill, to kill than be killed. Do you agree? Well, that's completely... That's, that's a non-question. Yes, because it depends on situation. Do you think that stealing from big corporations is, is acceptable? Yes, I do. Are you afraid of anyone in your life? Does that mean that have I been afraid of anyone in my life? If I've been afraid of anyone in my life, then yes. Uh, no. I, I've never been into gambling. Are you afraid of spiders? See, this isn't a fair one. I'm not, I love fucking spiders. I love fucking spiders. That is a bad sentence. Um, I like spiders, I think they're super cool, but I'm also cautious of them. I think when spiders are big enough to have their own shadow, that's when I don't trust them. <laughs> because it, I've had spiders that I considered big, do not clip that, that I fuck spiders. That was one time, and it was summer break, and I'd done lots of drugs, and... And... It was a time I don't want to revisit. Am I afraid of spiders? No, I like spiders. Do you believe in le legendary monsters such as Bigfoot and Loch Ness Monster? No, I don't. Do you believe in vampires? No, well, I believe in vampire bats. Does that count? I believe in creatures that are vampiric. Okay, I don't know how to answer this one. I do believe in I do believe in creatures that are vampiric by nature. They 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 live off blood. Is that good enough for me to say yes? Or do they mean, or am I answering, do I believe in generic vampires, humans that stalk the night? So I don't, I honestly don't know how to answer this one. They mean generic, they, they mean generic vampires. I say no. Uh, do I believe in werewolves? No, I don't. I believe in puppers. Um, yes, I do. Do you like to cook? Mmm, I like to eat. Um, <laughs> Would you say that you're a confident person? This is situational. Um, I'm confident in certain situations. I'll say yes. Fuck it. Do you think you're physically attractive? In the right light? Yes. Do you think that you're... Yes, I would make a good romantic partner. Do you lie to people on a daily basis? No. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I suffer from anxiety or not. I get anxiety, but anxiety is it, it is a natural thing to happen to humans. So I think everyone suffers. Everyone gets anxious now and then. But do they mean like heavy-duty anxiety? Like, I can't leave the house. 
because if it means like that then then no i suppose i don't do you suffer from depression again i've been depressed but i don't know if i suffer from depression so i'm going to say no to that one um <laughs> I'm going to say yes to this one because I I think throughout the these last few years I have done more exercise daily than not. So, on average, yes. Do you stay hydrated frequently? Yes, I do. Afraid of drowning? Not when I'm in it. When, when I'm outside of a swimming pool, no. Um, I suppose no. Afraid of home invasion? Um, no. Have you ever broken a bone? No. Not that I've known, anyway. If a killer were in your house, would you run or fight? How can I say yes or no to that question? I think I think this is a bit of a glitch. Would you run or fight? Uh, um, I, this isn't a yes-no question. Um, how am I supposed to answer this one? I know exactly what I would do, I know my answer to this one, but I can't answer it because it says would you run or fight? I don't know which one counts for run and which one counts as fight. Um, that doesn't... I, I, I can't answer the question, it's not the right answers. They've given... Yeah, okay. Um, see, I was assuming it the other way around. I thought... I thought... Um, it would count as would you run as as no and would you fight as yes. Well, the answer is I would fight because it's not just me that's that lives here. So I would say I would not run. If your house was on fire and you could safely get out, but in order to save your family or pets, you'd have to venture back and so sacrifice their lives. Would you do it? You could safely get out, but in order to save your family or pets, you'd have to venture. Yes, of course. I mean. If contracted, if you contracted a fatal incurable disease that only gave you three years to live, would you try to pass it on to someone else intentionally? Jesus. Um, no. Um, if you were being haunted by an evil spirit, would you continue to stay in the house? I don't know. I suppose if it was 100% it was evil, its intent was evil and there was no re redemption for it, I would get the fuck out of there. You'd Airbnb me there. Uh, if I told you that you are currently being haunted by an evil spirit, would you believe me? No. Is money one of your favourite things? No. Do you like quiet, relaxing music? Yeah, I like relaxing music and I like loud music. Do you like loud, aggressive music? Yes, I do. Are you afraid of dolls? No. Once bitten, twice shy. Do you agree with this expression? Depends who's biting you, or what's biting you. If it's human, no. If it's like a cobra, yes. Um, <laughs> if it's an evil moth. <laughs> um, I'm going to say no. Do you believe in love at first sight? Yes. I don't necessarily believe I would ever get that, but I do believe it, it can exist. Do you believe in the idea of a soulmate? Yes. Yeah, I don't, but yes. Do you have a sweet tooth? Now and then I have a sweet tooth. It's not constant. Uh, I suppose yes, then. Do you enjoy a bit of drama and chaos in life to keep things? No, I do not enjoy drama. Bollocks to that. Do you like fire? Yes, I do. I used to set things on fire when I was a kid. Is there anything that you're passionate about in life? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a gentle person? Yes. Are you afraid of conflict? Afraid of it? No. Don't like it, but I'm not afraid of it. Have any of these questions made you nervous? I suppose a little bit. Are you feeling relaxed at this moment? Yes, although I've got a group of people listening in to my answers. Do you think anyone hates me? No. 
Do you hate anyone in particular? No, not in particular. Are you prone to holding grudges? No. I hate people that hold grudges. I've always hated people that hold grudges. It just... It's just something I can't let go of. Um, forgive but never forget. Do you agree with the statement? No. No, I don't agree with that. I think that's a horrible statement, forgive but never forget, because you haven't really forgiven. In order for something to be forgotten, you've got to eventually... Yep, you got it, try hard. You got it. I don't think... If, if you are unable to forget it, it means that you're holding on to it. So I don't... I think that statement is... It's insincere. Oh, okay. Right, I was thinking about it. I mean... If you're coming to, like, you know, not not burning yourself on something, you know... Oh, no, because you're not forgiving that, are you? Yeah, it's a weird one, I suppose. Because it depends. If it's about a person, if that person is out of your life... Like, my ex-wife lives in a different country... So I can happily, I don't, I don't have a walking into my life every day. So that would be harder for me to forget. So, so, so maybe I've just got things lucky in that respect. Uh, everything happens for a reason. Do you agree with this statement? No, because I think that's one of the, I think that's one of universe, the universe's biggest tricks. Is some things do happen for no reason. Do you know, dude, it's like you don't even know me, Alice. Do you like explosions? Yes, I do. Do you enjoy the smell of burning firewood? Yes, I do. Are you afraid of flying? No, I'm afraid of falling. Are you afraid of driving? Yeah, I can't stand driving. I hate it. Do you think war between nations is healthy? No. Would you consider yourself open-minded? Yes. Do you ever dream about being chased? Yes. By zombies, mainly. My, my dreams are fucking action-packed. It's like, because I live my life like a turtle in my waking life, my dreams have to kind of balance things out by making them extremely action-y. Um, do you ever dream about hurting someone else? No, not really. I mean, no, because it's it's like zombies and stuff and aliens. I don't consider them someone else. Or do you consider yourself a violent person? No. If I was to tell, tell if I were to tell you that hell was coming for you. Would you know what I meant? No, because that's an abstract idea. If your answers to these questions could supernaturally predict the potential fate, would you believe and use it as a cautionary procedure to change your future and save your own life? Probably not, because I would be cynical. No, not all the babies. That's rather unfortunate. Would you consider yourself to be incredibly self-aware? No. I'm, I'm oblivious at the base, best of times. Uh, if I already told you that mirrors were a gateway to another realm, would you believe me? Well, they were a gateway to at least an equal and opposite universe, so I'll say yes for that one. Can you feel something watching you right now? I can feel... It's like people are listening to me. Uh, do you feel like someone or something is definitely watching me right now? Can I hear the whispers yet? No. Do you feel cold? No. Um, no, I'm quite good. Do you feel like something is coming? Um, I'm hoping snacks, but no. If something were coming, do you have a good idea of what it might be? Like I said, snacks. Do you enjoy the taste of blood? No, I don't, I, I've not tried enough to know, so I'll say no. Would you rather bleed out and to be set on fire. Yeah, fuck yeah. I don't want to be burned alive. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather bleed out. Rex is not coming. Hey, Malvase. That's not fair. Would you help your best friend cover up a murder they committed? Ooh, that's a difficult one. No, because it's murder, so it's not, it's not self-defense. Like, if they killed someone because they were going to be attacked or something, then yes. Do you think about death often? No, it's now and then. 
Do you think you'd survive if you had to fight off a pack of wolves barehanded? Yes. Well, I suppose a pack of wolves. It depends how big the wolves are. Uh, would you stay overnight in a haunted house by yourself if someone dared you to do it? Yeah. If someone tried to kill you, do you think you could take their life if you had it in you? Again, depends on their stature. Yes, fuck it. I'm not going to go down easily. I will stay alive through sheer spite alone. I will outlive people <laughs> through spite. Um, if your mother turned into a zombie, do you think you'd have what it takes to put her down? Yes. If there's a hell, do you think you're going there? No. If there is a hell, it depends. Are we talking about the Christian hell? Because I've not been baptised. I don't... I don't talk and hang around with the meek. Um, I mean, I, I've got no problem with the meek. I don't encounter the meek enough. I, it's not like they're signposted or nothing. Um, but if we're going by Old Testament, yes. Have you ever attempted to contact spirits? Yeah, when I was a kid. Have you ever had a sudden urge to jump in front of a car? No. Trains, yes. Cars, no. Have you ever had the sudden urge to push someone in front of a car? God, no. Uh, if you were a witness to a murder and the killer threatened you if you told anyone, would you go to the police? Yes. Have you ever seen a ghost or anything supernatural that you can explain? I've seen things I can't explain. I can't say that they're a ghost, though. If you could come back as a ghost, would you choose to haunt someone or make their life and, and make their life hell? No, what a waste of fucking time. If you could make a deal with the devil in exchange for your soul, would you take the opportunity to make a deal? Well, we all know... We all know that... You don't make a deal with the devil because... Because you never win. If someone were hiding in your room right now and I told you exactly where they were, would you go check? Yes, because it would be a good laugh. Are you concerned that someone would be hiding in your room currently? No. Well, mind you, there is that fucking moth. <laughs> Melvaze, that's funny. Uh, uh, do you ever worry that someone might be living in your house without your knowledge? Uh, if we're talking about that moth, then... No, I couldn't give a shit. Are you afraid of leaving your feet to hang off the edge of the bed? No, I actually like having my feet hanging off the edge of my bed. I... I... I've got hot feet. Okay? My feet run, like, I, I swear, several degrees higher than the rest of my body. Often, my feet are often sticking out of the bed. Have your feet ever been pulled while you've been sleeping? No? Have you ever felt like you were falling only to suddenly awake from sleep? Yes, everyone gets that. Do you realise that you might be incredibly fucked up? Yeah, of course. If you were crazy, you wouldn't know you are crazy. Do you understand? Yes. If you could read people's minds and know exactly what everyone was thinking at all times, would you would you allow yourself that power? This depends. Jetheads. If you can switch that off, yes. Oh no, it says thinking at all times. Oh no, what they're thinking at all times. Would you allow yourself that power? No, because if you can't switch it off, that would drive you mad. If you could rob a bank and get away with it, would you? Ooh, that's a good question. If I can get away with it, fuck it, yeah. That guaranteed I got away with it, okay? And banks aren't exactly without, uh, you know, aren't exactly moral arbiters. Um, if you could turn invisible, would you spy on people? Yeah, of course I would. Are you afraid of death? Yes. Does the thought that there might be nothing after your life bother you? That doesn't bother me, no. Does the thought that there might be an afterlife bother you? Yes. Because that would be horrible. Are you afraid of being abandoned? No. Are you afraid of dying alone? Yes. Are you afraid of being lied to by the ones you love? Everyone's afraid of that. Well, no, it's not like I'm... I'm. It's not something I'm conscious of, but if I thought someone was lying, I would not like it. So I'll say yes. Do you think the ones around you would betray you? No. Do you have a hard time trusting people? No, because I'm a good judge of character. Do you feel alone in a crowd? Didn't we have this question at the beginning? Um, sometimes, yes. 
do you feel like you you understand others fairly well but have a difficult time understanding you yes i think that's the nature of the beast isn't it um do you feel slightly more comfortable at this point i suppose do you feel safe yeah i feel fine do you feel like you could easily you do you feel like you could easily be fooled by loved ones no do you enjoy being dominated? Yeah, at times, but that's that's a bit of a kinky question. Uh, do you enjoy dominating other people? Uh, this this isn't being okay. I took that as a kinky question. I'm gonna take both of these as kinky questions. Yes and yes. Um, if you could live like royalty, would you? No, because they got to do loads of bollocks. If you could travel anywhere in the world once, instantly and for free, but you may never return to that particular place once again, once you left, would you do it? I could use this to go to the toilet, like if I really needed to wee, but I could like imagine going to the toilet somewhere else and never have to go back there. Was that me just twisting this? For my own urinary problems. Yeah, I, I couldn't do it. The amount of... I don't think they live a free life. They might live a very comfortable life, but they aren't free. Um, even if I, if freedom is an illusion or whatever, theirs is even less so. Real, that is. Yeah, yeah I'm going to say yes to this, because I could go, Ah, oh, well, I want to visit the fucking moon. Do you believe in time travel? That's. I believe it's possible. Do you think that aliens could potentially be humans from the future, just travelling back in time for various reasons? Yeah, why not? That could be a laugh. Would you choose to sleep? Would you choose to sleep inside a coffin? Yeah, why not? If you had to chop off one of your hands or feet to escape from a killer, would you? Would you do it? I don't know. I'd like to think I'd have the strength to, but I don't know. It depends. I'm gonna say yes, just because I don't really know how to answer that. Does the sight of the blood make you feel squeamish? No. If you knew a doll was haunted, would you buy it? No. Would you consider yourself to be superstitious? No. Just a little... Oh, just a little stitious. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to be sorry. That was fine. I, I, I'm fine with that. Does the thought of being put in a straitjacket make you feel uncomfortable? No. Would you ever... Would you ever walk walk through a graveyard just for fun. I already have done, so yes. Would you try human flesh to see what it tastes like? Not really. Because you can... No, it's not good for you. Do you believe in voodoo? No, I don't believe in voodoo, but I do have a slight inclination towards hoodoo. If anyone in the audience knows what hoodoo is. If I told you there's a voodoo doll that looks just like you hanging in a tree somewhere near your house, would that make you feel uncomfortable? No, it wouldn't. Do you get uncomfortable? No, I don't. <laughs> um, hoodoo is related to voodoo in the respect that it's got various superstitions, but in order for the superstitions to be true, in order for them to happen, you have to believe in it. If you don't believe in hoodoo, then hoodoo isn't real. But if you do believe in hoodoo, then things can happen within hoodoo. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, if you want to see a good horror movie that is about hoodoo, um, and actually I say this is a good horror movie in general, uh, Skeleton Key. The movie Skeleton Key is about hoodoo. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind a straight jacket. As long as I can still reach like my back so I can itch it, and your arms normally kind of put around the back. Ah, oh, did you like uh, Skeleton Key, Bader? There we go. Bader's our, our, our movie man, so Skeleton Key was excellent. Exactly, it only works if you believe. Yeah, exactly. We're all on the same page here, for the most part. Uh, do you ever worry that you're being followed? No, uh, no because... I would hope they're following me with nachos. Are you afraid of sharks? No, never met any. Humans are more dangerous than any other animal. Yes, animal that we know. 
Would you consider yourself to be a dangerous person? <laughs> no. Would you rather choose the death penalty over living the rest of your life in a cell? No. If I told you that there were seven secret messages hidden throughout the last hundred or so questions, would you believe me? Yeah, why not? Who's Mel? Um, do you believe that you might be in danger from a supernatural force? No. Would you consider yourself to be mentally stable? Yes. Would you trust your best friend to be alone with your lover? I don't have a lover, so that would be quite easy. I mean, uh, I suppose <laughs> with my search history, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, would you trust yourself to be alone with your best friend's lover? Yes, because I'm not into guys, so that's not going to be a problem. Um, if you could leave this life behind and live one of your wildest dreams, never to return to this current time again, would you do it? Yes, if I could communicate with my friends first and tell them why. Do you have a specific goal in life that you're determined to achieve? No. Would you say that you're, you sometimes lack motivation? Everyone sometimes lacks motivation. If someone attacked you, would you attack them back? Yes, I would. Are you sure that your life... The living is real, not just for some figment of your imagination or some crazy in-depth drama. I don't think anyone is 100% sure of that. If you woke up right now and realised that everything you knew of this life was a dream and your actual life and everyone in it was entirely different, would you be disappointed with that outcome? I don't, I, I don't know. So I'll say no. If you could win the lottery but would only have seven years to live, would you take the money? No. Uh, it depends if it's supernatural. If it's like, oh, well, you've got the world's worst ingrowing toenail and it will kill you in seven years, but you happen to have £10 million, I could do research into this fatal ingrowing toenail to have it removed. I know, I know what they mean. They mean it's one or the other. No. What's the fucking point in only having seven years? Um, for the final and most important question, do I like chinchillas um, I want you to really think about this one and answer honestly I really do like chinchillas take your time and don't answer too quickly really think is there not have I not told him about the chinchillas are you happy right now yes in 20 minutes that might not be true um, I'm going to turn your results into the fear machine and let it decide whether or not it wants to reveal your potential fate. Moosey fate. I hope there's more. I hope there is more moose. I like mooses. Mises? Moosu? Um, okay. I'll be taking my leave now, but it was nice getting to know you intimately. I'll see you soon. Hopefully not too soon. I think we have enough information about you, whether you skipped questions, answered it honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond, or answered quickly without reading or understanding properly. I've been able to tell. Calculating your result. Beep, 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 beep. While it's calculating. While it's judging me. I mean, who needs two candelabras? I mean, that that's greedy. That really is greedy. Based on what you've told me, let me tell you what I see. I see a darkness swirling within your soul, a deep level of anger. There's something inside of you that no one knows about. Perhaps not even you, but you can feel it. I see blood, lots of blood. Blood on the walls, blood on the ceiling, blood on the floor, blood as far as the eye can see. You awaken, sitting on the floor against the wall, slumped over, confused, shaken. Not stirred. You look down at your clothes, you're covered in blood, crimson soaked clothes tatter your body. You panic, you worry, you check yourself. It's not your blood. You wonder what happened, you can't remember anything. It's a massacre around you. Bodies litter the floor at your feet, some faces you recognise, some you don't. No matter how hard you try, you can't seem to piece your memory back together. You stand up and just as you do, a sudden realisation comes over you. Did you just survive a bloodthirsty killer's massacre? Or did no one survive yours? Sirens, lights, voices shouting in the distance, you're no longer alone. Steel cuffs envelop your wrists, you're dragged away, still left wondering what happened. It can all change before it's too late, you don't have to go down this path, the choice is yours. 
No matter how scared inside you might feel sometimes, don't ever be afraid to ask for help. There's still sand in the hourglass, but it does not fall fast. Your secret word is bloodthirst. Remember this word. This will come in handy. Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and make sure to let us know. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we're currently working on. What's that mean? I meant to t email them the word blood first. Um, don't be afraid, this is an opportunity for you to be part of history. This is a chance for you to be part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your contact. We'll also be putting for putting the first 500 players who contact us into the credits of all our next instalments of this series. We appreciate you taking the time to let us know how you got on. Thank you very much for your support. We hope to see you in your future inst in the future instalments. Thank you for taking the time to answer the questions. I know they've been in of some help to you, and if they aren't yet, it will make sense very soon. Trust me on that. Boom. 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 Splatter house horror tiles. Ha horror tiles? House tiles. I like that. That was fun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we've just we've just got to the end of it. I feel bad. We've just finished. Count. Ah, that was fun. That was that was good fun. I know that deep down, I want to murder people that um, can roll their R's better than me. Yeah, it would have been nice to have some visuals, but it's still it was still nice in what it was. I'm trying to think, what's the time? It's 10 o'clock. Yeah, that would have been cool. I don't know what to do now. Um, I might just... I don't want to start The Evil Within because I want to start that tomorrow. It's going to be a Friday night special. So... I can start that and have a nice big run on that. So I might just play a bit of Nier. Have a, have a chilled one for an hour. If people want to join me, they can. If they don't want to. Uh, yes, I'd be Alan Wake. I wish I played it on easy, though. Um, really fun game. I'd like to play it again, but I'd like to play it on easy because the fighting really, uh, the the gunplay, well, the combat, the combat really dragged it down for me. Um, I, the combat wasn't bad. It's just there was too much of it. Um, so yeah, I would like to play it again, but I want to play it on easy so I can enjoy the story more. Uh, and I do have a sudden urge to consume Duracell batteries. Yeah, it was fun. It makes me definitely makes me uh, want to play Control and possibly Quantum Break. But I don't think Quantum Break's on PC, is it? I'm not sure. Oh no, I appreciate my vase. You got it for me, so the least I could do was play it and make sure you're able to watch at the same time. <gasps> Fish! So yeah, um, I think I'm just going to play Nia for about an hour. Uh, if you guys want to join me, by all means do. This Nia is going to be my chilled game. To me, it's my happy place. Oh, the holy nacho! Yeah, that was cool. Okay, um, well, I'm going to exit this. Um, and if you guys want to join me, then uh, feel free to. If not, then I hope to catch you tomorrow evening, where we're gonna we're gonna have a late one. I'm gonna have loads of energy. I might even pick up an energy drink. See how it goes. <gasps> oh yeah, the puppy bath. Shit. I might not play anything because there is a puppy bath.
Uh, fair enough, Cal. I, I do appreciate the lurks. They do help. <laughs> yeah, puppy bath. The lurking has ended. There's a possible puppy bath going on. If there is any new viewers that would like to give me a follow, we do have a Discord as well that we're all very nice people and we all chat and take pictures of cats and dogs. Um, yeah. And if you you fancy that, then by all means send me uh, a message. If not, then we will have the puppy baths. Um, yes, what, what is the plan with the puppy baths? Are they happening or is that something that might happen? Because I don't want to be pushy about puppy baths. But if there is one, then I, I would like to see it. <laughs> oh yeah! Timmy! Timmy! Whoop whoop! I fucking love this group of people. You guys are fucking fantastic. Boop, boop. Okay, I'm gonna exit this and puppy time. Catch you all guys when I catch you. <laughs> ah, the squiddly spoons. This is what this is about. The collection of spoons. See you soon.